Now also, and this is why I'm extremely, extremely bullish on the internet computer, the capabilities, the technology. So at Genesis, a subnet was able to support 50 gigabyte. Today, a subnet supports two tabibytes. 47 subnets times two equals 94 tabibytes of overall storage capacity. Nothing in the space is even close to this figure in blockchain, okay? Now, also worth to note that we can add new subnets. We are fully scalable. We faced already an increase of 10x in the millions of instructions executed per second by the blockchain. Once again, I will remind you that one subnet, one of those subnets on ICP performs five times more compute than the whole Solana, Ethereum, Near Protocol, SUI, and Cardano blockchains put together, AVAX, and so on. Five times, one subnet. We have 47 subnets. Of course, not every subnet has such a high amount of instructions executed per second. Some subnets are much lower, but the top five subnets can perform five times more computation on ICP versus these other blockchains. And we have 47 subnets and we can add new subnets as well. We are fully scalable in case we increase the usage of this blockchain. So even if we add hundred thousands, millions of real users, not fake interactions, not bots on social media, none of this crap. If we add real users, we can scale. And we are the only blockchain that really can do that at the moment because of the capabilities, because we can offer on-chain storage and on-chain computation. So make sure also to check out, I know these videos tend to be very technical, but if you have been here for quite some time, you understand why these technicalities really matter when attracting new users in the future, because these other blockchains cannot, cannot scale, cannot offer the same level of scalability and cannot support such a high level of real usage. Of real usage okay so um, as you may see uh, I had many news now very quickly uh, I will show you uh, fear and greed index for Bitcoin uh, 25 still extreme fear historically we have dropped at very low levels uh, in this year in February and in 2022 so this was once again a big opportunity for Bitcoin for long-term holders of Bitcoin now, monthly returns, October, November, negative. This has not happened really since 2018, okay? Now, let's continue. Bitcoin, uh, I did show you already that all the minimum requirements for bear market were already met by Bitcoin. Very quickly, Bitcoin has dropped in 40 days to the 382 Fibonacci retracement level, one week, and then reacted bounce from this level. So once again, here you liquidate all the people here so this is a liquidity grab once again a week and then you continue to the upside and you react to this Fibonacci retracement level so once again they are respected very well respected you will see the three two one two three times you test it and then with a lot of volume you drop to the straight away to the next one okay now uh, let me show you something for ICP, ICP versus Bitcoin in the last 30 days, still 65% up in the last week. However, ICP is struggling, uh, minus 14%, similar to near minus 11.38%. And the volume is also down a lot. Of course, also because of the holiday in the United States, Thanksgiving. This is also something that it's to be expected, but currently we have only $100 million of volume, daily volume for ICP versus $1.5 billion just a couple of weeks ago. Now, also, let me show you a recovery for meaningful wallets on the internet computer. Wallets holding more than 10, 101,000 ICP are currently recovering on the internet computer, which shows me accumulation for retail investors. And also those wallets are held on the NNS, not on centralized exchanges. So humbug whales, stagnation, nothing much has happened. The volume has dried out. So the supply on exchanges did not increase. Whales also stagnation at the moment. Sharks, they're still accumulating ICP. Dolphins, they're continuing accumulating ICP after this drop in their supply. So once again, this shows me that currently we are facing now 
a phase of accumulation for the internet computer a bitcoin dominance nothing has really changed in the big picture so if i add here the global liquidity global liquidity is still fairly fairly high now let me show you icp versus bitcoin now the downtrend did slow down but icp is still currently somewhat struggling against bitcoin which you have seen in the performance for the last seven days liquidation heat map you will see that there is a ton of liquidation leverage here for icp still a ton of people are heavily over leveraged so here you will see at 4.54 dollars 20 billion in liquidation leverage and higher there is also a ton of liquidation leverage here around 6.2 dollars for icp at the lower level you will see at 3.44 dollars 20.91 billion dollars in liquidation this doesn't mean that these are real liquidations this is just interest it can be also fake interest they can remove the orders so in reality the liquidation on a daily basis will be much lower because one these people that are trying to uh, speculate and they're trying to manipulate the market can remove orders from the order books of the exchange and two because those are heavily over leveraged 20 50 100 x positions therefore if you have one million dollars in liquidation leverage this doesn't mean that the liquidation will occur for one million dollars if you're 100 x long with 10 x uh, with 10k of um, collateral you will be liquidated for 10k so this is how this works. This is why these numbers look so pumped up, unrealistically high, much higher than the market cap. But the reality is because of what I mentioned. And I have explained this in a separate uh, video. Now, definitely uh, voting power is increasing. Um, I would not say quite dramatically, but is has been increasing for days. I have spotted this trend and this has bottomed. Let me show you at 19.44 percent or rather at 22.09 percent actual i'm sorry and now in a month we are up from 22 percent to 23.71 percent which is quite significant for a one month move now uh, let's uh, continue with something else we are still in fear for icp real-time metrics volatility still high momentum rather volatility shows still fear momentum down volume down especially look at this minus 78.4 percent versus the 30 day average so volume is really down a lot momentum also really down a lot for icp and this once again shows me that there is potentially an accumulation because this sort of accumulations usually happen when the volume is very very low now um i will show you once again raplet and lovable they are very very profitable and why i'm showing you real this because i believe caffeine ai can become also extremely profitable in the future but those wipe coding startups are facing a big copycat risk because lovable raplet what's the difference between them why you should use lovable why you should use Raplet over lovable or base 44 or whatever other there will be thousands of those startups why and here one of the founders of the startups is mentioning hey i deploy an innovative tool and in one to maximum two weeks the competition already has copied this tool so what is currently going on and why icp is unique in its infrastructure you cannot copy that you cannot copy something like caffeine ai I mean, you can, you can deploy it on Amazon Web Services, but on the ICP, you're storing data on chain. And many people told me nobody cares. Retail investors don't care, right? Well, I do care and everyone should really care because of multiple reasons. And when the market figures out, and let, let me tell you when the market will figure this out, when there will be a big outage, okay? When all your data all this data that you have stored using base 44 or rap plate or lovable and it's going to happen sooner or later they're going to be hacked and then people will figure out okay ai is not safe because it's a honeypot i gave all my data to the ai and now someone stole all my data right so then the the, the masses are going to figure out there is a big issue on the internet computer your data is stored in canister smart contracts good luck good luck guys trying to hack this <laughs> good luck 
It's much, much harder. And it, this was explained why it's much harder. Because in, in Amazon Web Services, there is maybe one point of failure, while here you have thousands. You have to hack thousands of canisters, probably, okay, millions of canister smart contracts to store all this data. It, it's much, much harder, okay? So the infrastructure is built to avoid this sort of issues, while traditional infrastructure is not. So this is a big honeypot and this is a big problem. Even if we disregard the security, which is the most important aspect, of course, where is your data stored? There is also another aspect that ICP uh, has potential for on-chain computation which is not possible at the moment. And this just shows me that AI is not possible on the blockchain at the moment at all. So whoever is claiming that is running AI on chain is lying. ICP is running complex AI models already on chain, like DeepSeek running in a canister smart contract. This is possible on the internet computer. But the problem, the big problem is that currently on chain computation takes a bunch of resources, okay? It will be expensive. So they need still, in my book, 6 to 12 to 24 months to figure this out. And they really should start developing this. They shouldn't be satisfied and happy with Caffeine AI running on off-chain models. Those off-chain models are good. Gemini tree, those off-chain models are very, very good. But I believe we can, this is a copycat, as I mentioned, we can build a complex model on-chain. It's possible, I believe. It just would take a lot of time for them to develop. And they will, once again, be the first ones to develop something like that. So if this could technically run, and I, I believe it's possible to run this on-chain, fully on-chain in the future, maybe not now, as I mentioned, maybe in 12 to 24 months, this would have a radical impact on the tokenomics of the internet computer. Even with only on-chain on uh, storage, this already will have a big impact on the tokenomics. If they figure out on-chain computation, this would have a radical impact on the tokenomics of the internet computer, especially if they will, and I believe they will, be able to onboard hundreds of thousands of users in the future. Also, another um, big issue, and then we are going to see uh, the price action of ICP. Another issue that many people presented, why they don't launch Caffeine AI. They should have launched this already. Let me tell you. So... Caffeine AI was available in Alpha in July, after the 15th of July of 2025. Now we are in November, Caffeine AI is in beta. The launch is expected for the end of Q1 of 2026. Now, many people don't understand the point of this delay. The point is very, extremely important. Because I will show you what happened to my applications, my drafts. So you can see that some symbols are missing. You can see that the badge is missing. And unfortunately, I cannot fix this anymore. Because these drafts, these very old drafts, are now not anymore available for me to fix. It's simply not available. So I can never, ever be able to fix this anymore. And this was a problem that occurred in alpha and they figured out this problem and they say okay the cost of storing these old drafts for such a big amount of time is not maybe practical but there are some use cases in which you will really need it for example for my dashboard this is really needed so i'm willing to pay extra for that i'm willing to pay to keep these old drafts there because i need them so they need to figure out how to be able to offer this. So there is an issue, and I believe that many teams would have launched this even knowing there is an issue because the issue is not visible straight away. It took me a few months. It took me more than three months to figure out that something was breaking down and that I couldn't uh, be able to fix it. But they want to make sure that they launch a product with almost no bugs. They want to make sure it's really quality, it's really good, it's really usable, and they're adding new features in the meantime. Okay, so they're not only fixing bugs, they're also working on new features. So I believe they will be able to manage to launch a product that is really usable with not so many bugs, and they will be able to provide support and charge people fairly for that. So in my book, once again, 
they're behaving in the best way possible because they, they could have launched this already if they wanted, but then they would face issues later. Why? People, again, criticize them for that. And now they're criticized as well because they want to put the, their best effort to release a product that is really quality. So in my book, quality over quantity. Now, very quickly, let's end with the setup for ICP, a slowdown of the negative momentum and some sort of accumulation. But every time we tried to break out, we failed and were rejected by the 618 Fibonacci retracement level, which is once again, a fairly, a fairly relevant uh, resistance level now for ICP. The setup is not yet invalidated. ICP still has a chance to revert, depending on what Bitcoin will do. But if this is a continuation of a bear market for Bitcoin, because once again, I did show you the minimum requirements are met, but I did show you also last time uh, the structure for Bitcoin in the previous bear market. It was exactly the same. We reach a FIB, then we try recovering. We even have a big bounce. Then we trade sideways for a bit and then we break down one more time and we just continue. So once again, I'm not trusting uh, this pump from Bitcoin, even though I'm a big bull on Bitcoin in the long term. I believe Bitcoin will do well. I believe ICP will do well. This is why the vast majority of my crypto portfolio is in Bitcoin and in ICP projects that for me are very, very important and that have use cases and that will be adopted. Now, of course, I did see a video on this Ethereum meetup and this is such a big important point and this also once again opened my eyes. My eyes were already open but it reminded me about something. In 2016 this comment is more than nine, year old, nine years old at the moment. A person said in 2016 that he was going to all these meetups for the Bitcoin community and he was part of the Bitcoin community since very early and that he started going to these meetups from the ethereum community and other projects after that layer ones at the time there weren't so many in 2016 you know and that he noticed that many of the discussions from these vcs and people at these early stages in these meetings in in person were focused on pumping the tokens and dumping them after that this was a comment from 2016 okay guys keep in mind the historical relevance of this. And he said to people, warning, do your own research because from what I have heard, many of those founders are trying to pump and dump you and launch as many layer ones as possible, as many projects as possible, just to pump and dump liquidity, which absolutely happened after that. It happened. Terra Luna and many others that are forgotten already that you probably don't even know that they existed because you forgot or because you weren't in crypto at that point in time. So that's also some very important last, some very important point that I focus on projects with real utility. I focus with projects that can achieve utility, but he also said, look at the usage for your blockchain. This is the most important part, the usage, who is using that. ICP still lacks usage. And this is why this is still in my book, a speculative bet, but out of the thousands of speculative bets that I'm looking at at this moment, this is one that is backed at least by fundamentals, by real use cases, by capabilities, by a good R&D team that stands behind this, real professionals. It was in the bear market already for quite some time. They could have been gone already for a long time ago if they wanted. They kept developing their project and if you have been here for two plus years, as I have been here just tracking ICP, you will know by a fact that the technology now is better than two years ago. So they were not just sitting idle and waiting for better days. They were using some funds to develop this project. They were not dumping ICP and disbursing funds and trying to scam the community. That's my whole point here. It still could fail, but at least if it fails, I know I put my best effort, my best research, to track projects with really good tokenomics, potential use cases, and a good team. That's it, guys, for today. If you like this video, smash the like button, subscribe to the channel, and I will see you in the next one. Bye-bye.